So really, our first official date is gonna be spent spying on Nicole? It's not spying per se, we'll just happen to be there at the same time she is with her blind date. It'll be a nice little coincidence. Yeah, I don't really think it can be considered a coincidence if it's planned, but alright. And hey, I also am really excited to go out and eat together at the diner, okay? It's not just about Nicole and making sure she's not going to be going on a date with a weirdo. It'll be for us too. I call it killing two birds with one stone. <laughs> well, can I at least take you on another date tomorrow where stalking your best friend isn't involved? Yes, I love that, Chase. Great. Well, want to meet at my place 30 minutes before we have to actually leave so we can discuss the full plan? Plan? Oh boy, you've really thought this all through, huh? For the most part, but there's definitely things we need to figure out before we can officially leave. Alright, but do we know what time Nicole's going on a date yet? Leave that to me. I'm meeting her soon here to go shopping, and I'll get all the information I need from her then. Yep, you've definitely thought this all through. <laughs> okay, yes, maybe I have. Anyways, I should probably go, but I'll let you know when we need to meet here. Sounds good. Bye, Emily. Bye, Chase. <sighs> Still on track to meet at 12? Yep, I'm leaving right away here. <sighs> oh my gosh. I can't remember the last time we've gone this full out at the mall. I'm exhausted and we basically just spent all our time at DD Designs. <laughs> I mean, it is the best store here. Besides the fact that they have Patricia modeling for them. Ugh, don't remind me. But exhausted? This is only round one. We're going back for round two still. No, please, no. My legs will break. <laughs> Just kidding. I can't take another minute longer of this either. You know me, Emily. If you're saying you're done with shopping, one of your favorite things, you already know that I was physically and mentally done like an hour ago. <laughs> Mike. Huh? That was the last time we went extreme shopping. It was right after you and Mike got together and you apparently wanted an entire new wardrobe for your first actual date. <laughs> that's right. Wow, that seems like ages ago. It really does. And now we're here shopping for my date. Yes, well, there definitely has to be at least one outfit that you got that you can wear now. Yeah, the problem now is narrowing it down just to one. True. But hopefully, if this goes well, I'll be able to wear all my outfits on more dates with this mystery man. Yeah, uh, about that, Nicole. Emily, stop right there. I already know what you're gonna say. Don't you think it's a bad idea to go meet up with some stranger you've never seen or met before? No, I wasn't gonna say that. Really? Okay, well, not exactly like that. I just... You don't even know this guy's name, or age, or appearance, or personality, or- Yep, there we go. <sighs> Sorry. <sighs> it's okay, but I'll be fine, okay? My friend set me up with him, remember? So at least we know he's not like a serial killer or something. Then again, sometimes serial killers are the people we suspect the least. Are you trying to help your case? <laughs> I'll be good, I promise. And I'll let you know how it goes as soon as I get home. Mm-hmm. Speaking of which, when are you meeting this mystery guy? 6 p.m., so... Oh my goodness, in an hour. Oh my goodness, I need to get home and get ready. Yeah, wow, time really passed quickly. We should definitely get you back. Meet me at 5.30. Emily? Yep, yep, coming. Alex, and my horrible best friend. Good morning to you too, and thanks for knocking. It's literally five in the afternoon, Alex. Yeah, well, I haven't seen you all day. Okay, but it still wouldn't be good morning. It'd be good after- whatever, it doesn't matter. I need you to tell me I'm not a horrible best friend. You're not a horrible best friend? You can't just say that. You don't even know what I did, or what I'm gonna do. You literally just asked me to say that. Okay, but you didn't mean it. Okay, so you're a horrible best friend. I knew it. Whoa, okay. Get over here. Sounds like you need your weekly Alex inspirational advice talk.
Um, sorry, but inspirational? Now that's pushing a limit. Fine, well, what's up? I don't have all day. Well, I may or may not be going to secretly watch Nicole's blind date in like 45 minutes. Does she know you'll be there? No, Alex, did you miss the secretly part? So you're spying on her? No, why does everyone keep saying that? Because that's literally what you're doing? Okay, well, am I a bad friend for doing it? Well, would Nicole appreciate it? Well, probably not, but would you want her spying on your date? Not necessarily, but are you gonna do it anyways? Yes, but see- Yeah, so you kinda suck. Alex! Just kidding, just kidding. I mean, Nicole might not be happy if she finds out about it, and I do think it might be a little ridiculous. Well, very ridiculous. But you're looking out for your friend, right? A horrible friend wouldn't be looking out for their friend. Wow. When you put it that way, I'm... I'm an amazing friend. Yeah, no, that is not what I said. I just, Nicole's always been there for me whenever I needed her. She's barely asked anything for me, and I feel like the least I can do is keep an eye on this blind date and make sure everything goes well. What if he's some psychopath or a serial killer? Apparently, they can be the people you least expect. Well, that's a stretch. But yeah, you have good intentions, so no, I don't think you're a horrible best friend. Maybe just a bad one. Hey, just kidding, just kidding. Kinda. That's Chase. I gotta go. Thanks, Alex. Yeah, yeah. Good luck on your spy mission. Not a spy mission. Sure. Okay, so I'm thinking let's try to get there 10 minutes early so we don't have to draw as much attention as we would coming in. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. But I'm still worried that if Nicole looked in our direction, our cover would be instantly blown. Well, there's only one obvious solution to this problem. What? We need disguises. <laughs> oh, you're serious. I don't mean like those glasses with noses attached to them. However, I do have a pair to stuff somewhere in my room. Why in the world do you have those? It's a long story. Anyways, I'm talking about hats, big hoodies, and code names. I like your thinking, but last time I checked, all my hoodies are in the laundry. Here, you can have mine. It's much easier for me to disguise my shorter hair with just a hat or something. Wow, I'd take this as a cute romantic gesture if we were in literally any other situation. <laughs> now we just need to find the rest of our outfits. To the closet. We look ridiculous. Really? I don't know, I'm kind of feeling these shades. <laughs> I can't tell if you look like you're ready for the beach or a cold winter day. At least Nicole definitely won't recognize me. I wouldn't be caught dead wearing something this atrocious on any other occasion. Well, then I call that a win. So what are our code names? Hmm. How about you'll be Emma and I'll be... Chaz. <laughs> Alright, Chaz. I'd probably pass easier as a guy in this outfit, though. We'll look like two pals going to get some burgers. <laughs> Hey, what's wrong? <sighs> I'm still questioning all this. Is this a bad thing? Spying on their date? Well, would Nicole have done the same for you? Spied on your date? Absolutely she would have. Then let's go. We don't want to be late. And wait, I I'm sorry for dragging you into this. I know this definitely wasn't the first date you were envisioning for us. I mean, it definitely wasn't what I was envisioning either. No, don't be sorry. I'm glad I'm coming with you, and even if this date slash super spy mission <laughs> goes downhill, I already had so much fun trying on these crazy outfits. Emily, I don't think you realize that it doesn't matter what we do together, I'm always happy to spend time with you. And yes, even while spying on Nicole and her blind date together. Wow. How the heck do you always know exactly what to say? And how the heck did I get this lucky to have you? Believe me, Emily, I'm the lucky one. Now, let's go. Good idea. I can't take you seriously in that outfit much longer. <laughs> okay, let's sit over here. That's the only other empty table, so they'll have to sit there. Okay. What the heck are we doing? Good question.
Chase. I mean, Chaz. You know who is here. Okay, just act natural. Hello, what can I, um, get you to today? We'll just have some waters for now, please. Uh, all right. What was that? Well, she would recognize my regular voice. A deep man voice probably would have matched my look better, though. You sounded like a chipmunk. Hey, a cute chipmunk. I'm still offended. <laughs> I don't think she's gonna notice us. She's probably only focused on stressing about a date right now. True. Plus, she's sitting, so she's facing away from us. We'll probably be fine, hopefully, as long as we're somewhat quiet. Now we just have to wait for this mystery man. Any guesses on who it might be? You say that like I'm gonna know the guy. I'm just hoping he looks friendly and has a nice personality and isn't a serial killer. That would be a plus, wouldn't it? Yeah. Serial killers are not fun. <laughs> what is it, Emily? I mean, Emma. Do we have a code red? We actually never made a code red, so you're gonna have to tell me what's going on. Chase? Chaz, remember? What is it, Emma? I don't want to turn around and make it obvious. Did the dude show up? M Mike? Wait, what? Emma, Emma, I don't think I heard you right. Or at least I really hope I didn't. You heard me. It's Mike. My, my ex. What? Thank you so much for watching episode 23 of Emily and Friends. Comment below and let me know what you thought of the episode and what you think is going to happen next. I also do want to say that the shopping mall backdrop area near the beginning of the episode, I did show how to make in my last video. So definitely check that out because I'm really proud of how it turned out. And I think that video needs a little bit more hype. So definitely check that out. That means so much to me. If you enjoyed this episode and you aren't subscribed already, make sure to go down below and subscribe and turn on notifications so you'll know when the next episode comes out and it would just mean the world to me. And now before we end today's video, the shout outs for today go to Mo Toys for me, Hannah, and Hello Barbie. Thank you so, so much for supporting the channel. And remember, if you want a chance of getting a shout out, all you have to do is subscribe to the channel, click the notification bell and comment down below with the hashtag DV Squad, and you'll have a chance of getting a shout out in the next video. Once again, thank you so much for watching and your support. I appreciate you guys so much, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.